whatever this is, let's not wait around for it to get into difficulty. Let's build on it. Time to end the sanctions. Hey, Hollande, remember two days before Charlie Hebdo, Hollande was saying the sanctions against Russia have to end. Well, now that Putin has come forward with this constructive attitude, time for those sanctions to end. It goes without saying, no weapons for the Ukrainian fascists, not one bullet, not one bolt, not one uh, can of oil, nothing. They get nothing and no GIs. And how can you have American forces training fascists from the right sector and these other neo-Nazi groups? The United States, one thing we have going, this was the preeminent anti-Nazi power. Never allied. No ribbentrop Molotov pact. No appeasement. No nothing. Roosevelt's quarantine speech, Chicago, 1938. Uh, look at that. So the U.S. relatively okay in that regard. Now what are we going to do? Retroactively endorse Hitlerism through this group in Ukraine. No, no, no. One thing we obviously, obviously have to think of, the CSCE 1975 Helsinki Accords, right, that said that the, the borders in Europe were final, right? This is in lieu of a peace treaty after World War II, which had never occurred. The problem with this is the formalism of borders is okay, but there's a content aspect, which is <laughs> what government? If you have a color revolution overthrowing the government, right, as in the case of Ukraine 2004, Ukraine 2014, the color revolution is an act of war. And obviously that means that whatever government remains within those borders is not the legitimate government. So the uh, you, the Helsinki provisions have to be expanded, I would say, in order to uh, to take care of that um, situation. Uh, we have Senator Imhoff. Senator Imhoff is proving the uh, statement by P.T. Barnum that there's a sucker born every minute. A group of fascists from the Ukrainian Rada came over and gave him some pictures. Oh, look at these Russian tanks crossing our borders. Problem was, it was the border of Georgia, 2008, not today. And you'll remember in 2008, Cheney wanted to bomb that tunnel. That would have been a one-way ticket to World War III. Just what we needed. Uh, Robert Parry, uh, has, better late than never, has discovered that the uh, Donbass, Dnieper, and Azov battalion have um, Nazi insignia, swastikas, Volfsangel, and the rest. Um, and they, he t correctly and usefully takes to task Rick Lyman, Rick Lyman, <laughs> Nomen Est Omen, right? His name is his program. Rick Lyman of the New York Times has been writing from Mario Pol uh, as if this were the last holdout of uh, democracy and, uh, and, and human rights. <laughs> and of course, it's not. Um, and this place may also fall to the uh, to the Russians in the next couple of days, the pro-Russians. Uh, Croatia had said that Croatian citizens were indeed part of this uh, Condor Legion, foreign legion, fighting for Kiev uh, in the Azov Battalion. But this um, Tusk, the Tusker, the elephant in the room, Tusk, the uh, former Polish uh, politician, uh, he denies it, right? And he's now the president of the European Union Commission. Now, uh, we need to also look at what Putin had to say. Putin, this is the famous, uh, the famous remarks. This was not the best night of my life, but the morning is good. We were able to, uh, to resolve the main issues. Why did it take so long? Because the Kiev fascists who are leaning, they're based on fascist gangs, they all of a sudden won't talk to the representatives of Donetsk and Lugansk. That had to be done with the four heads of state and government in one room and then the OSCE contact group in another room and functionaries shuttling back and forth, you know, as, as everybody says something. So every time somebody makes a statement, it's got to be translated and taken into the next uh, room. So Ceasefire to begin at midnight on February 15th. That means then and not before. Uh, withdrawal of heavy weapons, artillery pieces and so forth. How it's big self-propelled howitzers and other stuff. 
uh, that goes uh, back from the uh, line of control as it is right now. Um, the Donbas uh, militia, they, uh, as he said, the, the, the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics correctly say that they, what they did was in response to the constant shelling of the Kiev authorities, the aggressive actions of the Kiev authorities. Uh, but now the Donetsk and Lugansk were able to mount an offensive and encircle a group of six to 8,000 Ukrainian forces. And the demand from the Donetsk and Lugansk people is that those encircled have to lay down their arms and go home. Uh, but, of course, the danger is that other fascist forces outside the pocket will try to break the encirclement and then the fighting will go on. And that's got to be blamed on the Kiev uh, side. So if the troops are really surrounded, then they will try to break free, while those who are on the outside will try to arrange for a corridor for their trapped uh, servicemen. So this somehow this issue was uh, was dodged. So um, what do we get out of this in general? The solutions to these situations have got to be imposed by a concert of the great powers. Um, it would be much better if the U.S., Russia, France, Germany, and some others, uh, the more the merrier, could join in imposing a solution. We're hearing about, oh, the Ukrainians have a right to self-determination. The Ukrainians have this and that. The Ukrainians do not, do not have a right to threaten the peace of the world with their little issues, especially when they're largely fascistic. So therefore, this situation has to be imposed. And when we look a little bit further away, this is the, the Netanyahu problem, uh, the parallel lives of Plutarch, Pornoshenko, Netanyahu. Netanyahu believes that it's his right to fight to the last American against uh, Iran in some new cataclysmic Middle East war. This must not be allowed. The general outlines of the solution for the Middle East are known, and the general outlines for Ukraine are known. In the case of Ukraine, it is Finlandization or Austrianization, that is permanent neutrality, actions to discourage a Russophobic hate propaganda on the internal front, the not non tolerance Russophobic and, uh, back in a minute. This is David Cordani, CEO of Cigna. For more than 20 years, Cigna has worked with the March of Dimes to address premature births in the U.S. Thank you for taking time to learn more about how you could support March for Babies in 2015. Premature births cause horrible suffering and cost billions of dollars each year. That's why Cigna is committed to raising funds and awareness through our employees, family, and friends to improve the health of moms and babies. Please join us in supporting the March for Babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org. Genesis is defined as an origin, creation, or the beginning. Genesis Communications Network began with the mission of providing you with the kind of compelling content you're listening to now. And at GCNlive.com, you'll find a free archive of our nation's history, narrated by GCN hosts. Explore, share, and pass down to future generations. GCN is the future of talk radio, but we should always strive to learn from our past. Together, we are GCNlive.com. GCN. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 
800-foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GC. Welcome back to World Crisis Radio. Webster Tarpley here in Washington, D.C. Now, we want to go quickly to Athens to get the essential weekly update on what's going on with Syriza. Right? This week we had the European Finance Minister's meeting, the Eurogroup, with Varoufakis representing uh, Greece. And we've also had the meeting of the heads of state, heads of government, this time with Alexis Tsipras being there. We've had Juncker and Moscovici shooting off their mouths. Um, but we want to get an idea from Michael Chiotinas in Athens what it all means. So, Michael, please, you have the floor. Hello, Webster. Um, well, for being with us again. Thank you very much. Um, the previous government in Greece uh, actually tried to implement uh, scorched earth policy. They tried to set a limit, time limit, for um, the new government to just to set a blackmail and uh, um, took a, an extension of the current program by two months. And uh, as Tsipras said, when he went and on his uh, tour of um, uh, talking with other uh, leaders, they told him that they offered the previous government a six-month extension, but Samaras, the previous prime minister, insisted on two months. That was that was that, that was Samaras trying to implement the kind of scenario that I was talking about uh, previous the last that last week or the one before about uh, having Syriza fail in the negotiations and bringing back the old government by a sort of scorched earth policy. Now, what Varoufakis is aiming at right uh, right now is a bridge settlement. Many people right now are trying, to, are trying to tell us that Syriza is trying to sell us over and um, um, they're going to betray us and also those sort of things. 
But what Varoufakis is, I think, is aiming at is a bridge between now and the uh, the holistic uh, solution for 